Ooh, Pride's do's and don'ts. There's so many do's at Pride, it's weird to think of don'ts. Well, they're do's that do everything. <laughs> I have gone to Pride festivals since they were invented. I've been going to Pride, I think, since my... I don't want to give away my age, but it's been a lot of years. I started going secretly when I was a teenager. I'm a Miami native, and so I went to Miami Pride once. I had to sneak out. It was so embarrassing. I fell off of one of the Pride stages in front of the cast of Noah's Ark, and that was not fun. I mean, I've danced on floats half naked. You know, I've done a lot of different things. I don't even know where those pictures are, but that's okay. I am a pro at Pride, so I feel like I do have some knowledge to share. Do explore your city's Pride events. Take part in the official events. Make a really kick-ass playlist. Make friends with everybody. Take a crew. You should absolutely go with multiple friends, a really responsible friend, and then the turn up friend as well. You must have the friend that is going to turn up with you, and then you also have the friend that's gonna be like, sis, I need you to pump your brakes, and tell you it's time to go home. If you go with a group of people, make sure you stay with that group of people. Don't leave your friends, period. No man, woman, or non-binary person left behind. And I'm sorry if I sound like everybody's Jewish mother, hydrate. Stay hydrated. You have to hydrate. Stay hydrated. Bring a water bottle. Make sure you have water. 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 Poppers. And drink a lot of water. Seriously. I don't think people drink enough water. Water bottle, sunscreen, make out with strangers. Don't forget your water bottle. Don't forget your sunscreen. Don't make out with strangers. Ew. SPF. I've seen a lot of lobsters walking around these Pride streets, sister, and I feel just a little bit concerned for everybody. If you're gonna bring your dog to Pride, give him those little booties because the, 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 the street is really hot. Wear comfortable shoes. Do wear comfortable shoes. Oh, girl, comfortable shoes. When you wore heels while I was marching, oh, honey, her feet were feeling it after. You've got to bring a fierce look. You should not be fully clothed. If you're gonna do it, do it. And glitter is a do. Glitter is always a do. If there's something holding you back from wearing makeup from the first time, wear makeup. If there's something holding you back from dressing a certain way for the first time, dress how you wanna dress. I was doing a play during Pride, and I came out after the matinee, and I saw these two twinks puking in, on the street and crying, and I was like, don't do that. It, like, don't be sloppy, honey. Like, hello? I don't know when it became official, but Pride is now a full month. So pace yourself. Do not judge. Do your best to maybe talk to someone who might not look like you. Be kind to everyone. Be kind to the bouncers, the people at Coat Check. Don't get in anybody's personal space. Respect the transgender community. Respect the queer community. Respect the leather community. Respect the sex worker community. Don't compare yourself to anyone else in their journey. You're on your journey. You're doing what you need to do. Embrace yourself and celebrate you. Don't suck. If you're considering sucking, do less. A very upscale magazine called me last year on Gay Pride and said, what are you going to do for Gay Pride? So I just said to them, I'm just gonna blow as many people as possible. And they looked so horrified. And I hope they knew I was making a joke, but I thought gay people were supposed to be savagely witty. 